all right guys how's it going i've been messing with this thing all day um i got my port work done um had to do some funky things to the intake uh get that piston up there this thing's got a weird thing in the way down there so i had to do some uh, a little different style than i normally do on an intake but um roll this this way see how much that piston sticks up that used to sit flush that's how much i cut off the base <clears throat> polish the top of the piston this thing's kind of weird it's got that much jigger in there um really couldn't do much with the transfers the lowers uh, the gasket matches it pretty good. There's my exhaust. I did... Uh, this port was tiny. Um, I did widen it, but I didn't go crazy in here. I only went out maybe 30 thousandths extra on each side, then rechamfered it. But the it went... From wide down to like a little tiny square I just made the outside of the flange here match the inside of the the port basically and then I had to do that to the gasket I got to do it to the exhaust as well yet um, I had to move the uppers I reshaped them uh, I had to do a weird I guess I'm gonna call it a transformer shape uh, intake port there to get around that weird thing hopefully it'll be all right I had to cut a bunch off the base did a squish band cut but I just thought I'd uh, show that to you um, the numbers on this, I'm hoping they're going to work. I went with my standard 102 on the exhaust. Um, I staggered the, well, they were staggered to begin with, and then they were tapered weird. But I more or less squared them up, but I still staggered them. Um, I'm at 18 and 23 degrees blowdown on them. Uh, in The intake's at 88. Uh, really not much I can, I can do about that. Um, is what it is so um, I'm gonna post this and then I'm gonna get to work on trying to put this together you guys have a good one